are back to get a check of our forecast with Chris Michaels. Chris, the countdown is truly here for Christmas. Oh yeah, we are uh, just what now less than two days away and a little cloudy out there. Just uh, kind of a gray day so far. Temperatures starting out this afternoon in the upper 40s. We're pretty much all on the same playing field, but a gray sky just kind of keeping temperatures in check for now. 48 in Roanoke, 49 in Blacksburg and in Martinsville. And it's all with this system that's producing rain off toward the south and quite a bit of it, especially in South Carolina and in the coastal plain of North Carolina. But we start to see the drier air are kind of eating away at the northern edge of this system. So that means we're not going to see any rain here as we head through the afternoon, even though it looks and kind of feels like rain out there. Did see a few showers closer to the North Carolina Virginia line earlier on, but again, that drier air kind of keeping the rain out of the region. So in the meantime, a pretty comfortable start to the festivities tonight at Illuminate. Santa making one last visit before he's got to go back to the North Pole and get ready for tomorrow evening. We'll start out with temperatures in the low to mid 50s and then by the end of the evening looking at temperatures in the middle 40s. So cool, but not quite as brutally cold as we've had on a few other nights at Illuminate so far this year. There's our system that we've been tracking. It's going to continue to move off toward the east as it does. So we'll continue to see the drier air and the return of some sunshine heading into tomorrow. That's going to allow things to warm up into the 60s as we're kind of on the warm side of this front, but we have to see if that front actually moves into our area could cool things down a little bit for Christmas Day. So right now we're calling it slightly cooler. A few more clouds moving in as well with temperatures in the 50s for Christmas Day. So for Christmas Eve again, more sunshine warmer than today with temperatures mostly anywhere from about 60 to 64 degrees. And then by Christmas Day, just keeping an eye on the cloud cover right now we're calling for 58. But if the cloud cover is a little thicker, we may have to lower that temperature forecast a little bit. But uh, uh, and we're not going to be lowering it enough to see any kind of snow. All right, you can see the shading here in the white and the blue. That's the only part of the country that's going to wind up seeing a white Christmas. That being one inch of snow on the ground on Christmas Day. And you can see that dip in the jet stream. That is what's going to lead to the colder air in the western half of the U.S. So here we are on the other side of the U.S. where the jet stream rises on up and that keeps the colder air blocked to the north. Also keeps the storm track farther north as well. So we're looking at warmer than average temperatures and some pretty dry weather here as we head through at least the next week for the Lynchburg area today. We're in the low to mid 50s for the most part. More sunshine heading into the day tomorrow with temperatures in the lower 60s. Going to be a cold start, though, with temperatures in the 30s. We'll start in the 30s on Christmas Day and make our way back into the 50s in the afternoon. A little more sunshine by Thursday with temperatures low to mid 60s. And then we're pretty much in that same temperature range for the weekend. Temperatures upper 50s and lower 60s, which, by the way, is about 10 to 15 degrees above where we should be this time of year. Nighttime lows even in the upper 30s and lower 40s and maybe a stray shower coming in on Sundays. We're tracking a system off toward the north and west and pretty similar forecast for the Roanoke Valley. We're looking at great travel weather here the next few days, guys. So if you got to travel around the area or just the eastern half of the US, Things are looking good. Low 60s tomorrow in the Roanoke Valley, 50s Christmas Day, low to mid 60s once again on Thursday, and staying in that upper 50s to low 60s range through the weekend with uh, temperatures at night in the upper 30s and lower 40s.